Today I will show you how to set up your business profile, taxes, and time zone in your Volo system. To start, log yourself into your Volo. And to begin setting up your business profile, click on the Setup tab. Here it will open you up to your business profile. To start, you have to enter your logo. To resize your logo so that it fits in your Volo system, open your logo up in Paint, select Resize, select pixels, and from here you can resize it. You can make your logo as long as you need it to be, but it can only be a maximum of 150 pixels tall. Click OK and select Save. Here in your Volo, if you click on Browse, you can find your logo and open it into your system. From there, enter your business name, the name of your primary contact, your address starting with street, city, province or state, country, and postal code. Enter your phone number, fax number, email, and enter your business number. Your business number is your federal tax ID. Once you've entered all your information, scroll down and select Save. Now you will see that your logo has appeared in the left-hand corner of your screen. Next, to set up your taxes, click on the Settings tab under Setup, and the first window that will open is Taxes. To enter a new tax, select the name of the tax, the amount, and here if you use outside accounting software you can enter the account code and receiver and select apply to a good, a service, or both. Once you've selected that, select add new and save changes to apply the tax. To set your time zone, click on club settings and select the time zone you are in from the drop-down box. Under club settings you will also see that you can select self-registration. This will allow new members to log in through the member portal and register themselves at your facility. You will also notice there is a box for account codes for payment types. This is to be used if you're using outside accounting software like QuickBooks or Simply Accounting. You can enter the codes in now or you can come back at a later time and enter them in. Once changing any existing information or entering any new information, make sure you click Save.